Today, we're going to be telling our craziest stories about our favorite sports. For example, why I like kicking soccer balls at unintended children. It's football. The main sport I play is tennis. Oh. <laughs> what are you laughing? Out of every sport you could have chosen, you chose tennis. What do you mean I chose? I was a child. I was forced to, man. Yo, what, what do you think? I made any life decisions when I was under 18? No. We're not talking about the Wii tennis. You know, the little Wii tennis thing where you go and then you accidentally throw it into the tv it's Literally. basically will we tennis real life tennis the thing about tennis the biggest problem about it is the cheaters how do you cheat in tennis, cheaters cheat in in tennis? tennis? unless you play pro money matches there's no referee in tennis that means that you make your own calls on what is in and what is out oh question. that's question. what he means question. Question. by cheating if i go to the enemy's side of the court beat him up go back to my side and serve do i win uh that is allowed but okay if you don't understand tennis Tennis. okay your goal is to hit the ball back over the net you know like back and forth but you have to hit it in between the line if you go outside the lines the ball is called out if i hit a ball over the net it is up to my opponent to call whether or not the ball is in or out okay you see the problem with this so michael my opponent and i are having a competitive rally all right back and forth all right bang 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 the thing about michael he's like a seed in this tournament uh, that means he's like higher ranked than me like he's the top dog all right there's a lot of pressure when you're like a seed because you're expected to win because in rankings you are the better player even though this guy was a seed all right i was going toe to toe with michael i was eating those toes up i was making him sweat it was going like 10 20 30 shots which is like crazy long for just one tennis point but you see that's too long for me because i'm i'm lazy i want to finish michael off oh. <laughs> The ball came to my side, and I just shot that ball right down the line. Michael didn't even touch it, all right? It went right past him, you know? And I walked off, like, in the movies, you know, when they have explosions behind you, like... You know, I just walked away. Yeah, but instead yeah. of an explosion, it's just a ball. And this is what I hear. Out. Out. <laughs> that turns out. around in shock. Glasses falls off. I'm like, huh? I I, I turn around. I see my, Michael. Like, he has like a dumb little finger in the air. And I said like, what did you say? And he said, uh, the ball was out. The point that I earned rightfully was just taken away from me. The ball was clearly in. And he just decided, nah, I'm just going to call it out. Now I have three options because there's no referee. I can either run him over with my car fly a plane into his grandma's house or move on Whoa, wow. Whoa. Why are you planes into this? i dealt with cheaters before back when i was just a tiny little shock okay someone cheated and i didn't know what to do i ended up just losing the match and then complaining to my parents pathetic but this is not what i did this time on the next point right when michael hit the ball in the middle of the court right in the middle clearly in i stood there unfazed and I caught the ball with my hands and I said, out. Wow, you showed him. The look Michael gave me is as if I just put a plane into his grandma's house. Why do we keep talking oh about planes? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Moving on, we started arguing, blah, 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 blah. And you know, we fought for the next couple of minutes. All that matters is that I ended up winning the match and Michael had to go to the funeral because I did actually put a plane in his grandma's house. But isn't tennis just volleyball with a racket and a Pretty smaller much. ball? You know what, Meme God, you, you play a better sport? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you pick on me? You're like, I am like the athletic one in this group over here. My name is literally Fat Meme God. What do you mean? Don't you run? My name is Fat Meme God. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm not fat because I played a ton of sports growing up. I was home to a, a white family, you know, with two dogs, you know, loving a uh, husband and wife. So you what? What? I have to throw played... the word white in there. I don't understand. I actually played a ton of sports. I did badminton. It is way better than stick and ball. I can assure you that because the, oh. the ball is it's called a shuttlecock. What? Okay, how do I get into this badminton? Like, where do I start? Whenever Cock. I was playing badminton, this was around my <laughs> middle school era. I was a bit, a bit younger, you know, 13, 14. And so I was really skinny. I was frail. I was kind of chubby too. All three at the same time. I was that person. <laughs> <laughs> all three. What body type do you have? That's he had crazy. all of them. He picked every I, option. I was, I was <laughs> customized the character. That was that In middle school, you know you have recess, right? Recess is always after lunch. If you have it before lunch, you're a loser. So whenever we went out for recess, we would have this basketball court. And then to the right, you would have kind of like a sandy beach area. Not really a beach area. Your school was next to the beach? Kinda. We had a little pond. We're like, huh, we're getting kind of bored here. I don't really want to play with this stupid outside ball anymore. Balls suck. You know, there's no equipment. Everyone here is really mad because it's hot outside. We were very, <laughs> very smart middle schoolers. We go up to the principal and we're like, hey man, uh, we're getting kind of bored here. What other games can we play? And he was like, uh, oh, you know, 
know, we, we can always go to the field and play a kickball. I was like, ah, uh, kickball's ass. We, we, have, we do have a gymnasium you guys can use. They're like, oh, gym. We can use that during recess. He's like, yeah. We ask him to order us badminton equipment. 30 minute delivery, Amazon Prime, same day delivery. He was the GOAT. Yeah. And so we get badminton equipment, right? This sparks a huge interest in our school because it's a new sport no one's ever seen before. I would be very interested. We love playing with the shuttlecocks. No further elaboration on that. Basically, we get all this new equipment in. Everyone's really excited to play. And then we realize that you can't play badminton without a net. So we didn't have any nets to play badminton with. What? We would walk around, you know, just flinging it up and down. Kind of, just kind of like kind of like juggling with a soccer ball, but just juggling with a shuttlecock. This is really out of context right now. A week goes by, you know, we're, we're, everyone's still very interested in the school. Is like, you know what? I think they deserve, you know, a net to play with. And so they order volleyball nets. And so we used to play badminton with these volleyball nets. And every single time I was up to go, I was like the best kid in school. As you know, we get our equipment and we start playing with the volleyball nets. We actually start having tournaments and our school is actually really, really good at badminton. Since we were a, like a Mandarin school, we had a we had a big huh? Asian <laughs> What? Our team was very, very highly populated of Asians. I'm like one of the only white boys on the team. No one likes me, but I'm really good at it. So people are like, oh, you know, as I, you know, climb the ranks of white boy playing badminton, boom, beat one person, boom. Go white boy, go. Just like boom. that? I was crazy at it. He just hitting so. people instead. <laughs> <laughs> Not even hitting the show, cocky. He just no, 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 people Back at this point. My coach is like, oh man, you're really good. We're gonna put you up against the best player we have. He was challenger, dude. It's a very, very, very close game. He served is, is done with insane precision and speed. But I have to run around the entire court. It finally gets down to the last point. He slips and he falls and he hurts himself. Mm. I'm basically sitting there and I'm kind of sad because, you know, he is my teammate, you know, but I am also trying to beat him. So I can't show any remorse. So you broke his knees. I broke his knees. You stole his liver. Ah, don't win! He's here to win! And after his little scuffle of him, you know, hurting himself and him basically resigning, you know, we shook hands. <laughs> but then later on, I went over, they gave me very nice food. So the moral so of the you story. Want to sign up. Yeah. The story is, <laughs> the you gotta, you gotta make sure the gymnasium floor is fresh waxed so that your opponent slips and falls and breaks their neck so you can win the game. Did you used down. to play Absolutely. soccer? Oof. Yeah, so actually that was another sport I played. You got a better sport maybe, God? No, 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 no. no. I'm gonna, I want to throw soccer for our, fo our football, as they call it. That's that's what they call it, right? Okay, for half of the time in soccer, it's just a ball being kicked from one place to the other. Like, okay, imagine being a commentator for a soccer game. Oh, here's oh, Neymar right. kicking the ball for the 80th time. Like, he's right. been kicking for the entire game. Yo, oh, Neymar. here comes LeBron intercepts for the 96th time. LeBron, it's been possible. 85 minutes ah, and not a single goal has been scored yet. 0-0 zero, zero, like Sox's body count. Looks like we're going to go into halftime. Let's go back to YouTube. Channel 5 news on what civilization will look like if Natalie wasn't adopted. Natalie oh, wow. isn't even here. That's crazy. You know? <laughs> Imagine spending an hour of your life to not see a single goal being scored I, I and then going on Twitter like, guys, that was the most intense soccer match I've ever seen. He was, he was the one person the not shows another team. Yeah, you know, and soccer isn't even inclusive. Like, what if you don't have legs? What? Do you want me to tell you about a real bad sport, right? Juicy Sport is brushing his teeth. Like, can we just, like, just call <laughs> Dude, that's hard like, right. on the wrist. Yeah. Dude, when weird. Juicy brushes his teeth, his toothbrush bleeds. Oh, my God. <laughs> my favorite sport is chess. You can't say your favorite sport is chess. You suck at it. You what are you talking about? Chess. Why I not expose me? I man in four moves. I have this on camera, bro. I have this on footage 4k i'm putting it here everyone sees this now i'm gonna talk about a real man sport and that is football when i was 12 years old right i was playing football with my cousin and we were playing in a little football court ground i plant the football on the concrete ground right and my cousin is in goal preparing with his massive gloves and i step back and I took a huge run up right with my legs speeding towards the football on mark six. And then he and I get to the ball. I boot it. I'll what does that mean? mean, bro? What does that mean? I, 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 <laughs> I booted the ball with full oh, force and literally hurdled up in the air over the goal and over the fence. I completely missed, right? But Damn. what I need to mention is, is that we was next to a kid's playground. Not children. As the ball was up in the air, it comes storming back down. There was a dad 
with his kids, right? <laughs> so this dad was looking up the slide at his child coming down in the park down a slide, right? And this certain man had a cap on his head, right? And the ball comes launching down towards his head and it literally slams on top of his head. And the guy literally jumps up and he freaks out and he checks left and right. And he's like questioning life, like where his hat just despawned to. And he had no <laughs> idea. The ball came and smacked on top of his head and didn't even hit his head. It hit his cap straight off the head. Only thing you like about football is and nothing just... to do with the game. Who has a better favorite sport, hmm? Before I tell my story, I gotta tell you to subscribe, okay? Since I was like seven, I did something called dirt bike riding, right? <laughs> <laughs> my little dirt bike. One day there was a race, a special race. I've been thinking about this race a week before. In this race, there was a special jump, a really special jump. <gasps> this is like the most dangerous jump I have ever seen in my life. The jump goes like this, whoosh, and it goes like that, <gasps> and then it goes like that. <gasps> and over here, no. Juicy's teeth. there is a 90 degree corner <laughs> that goes over there. So, you have to do is go all the way over here. You go, and you hit it here. Boom! You're dead. Over. If you jump too high, then there's a 90 degree corner over here. Over here, there's a mountain that goes down like this. So, you literally fall down a mountain if you go too far. But if you don't go far enough, then you crash here and die. So, the day I was gonna do the race, I was ready. I <laughs> dreamed about this jump, okay? Until the day came. The day of the reckoning. I walked to the jump. I looked up to this giant slope that went up. I went back to the trailer and I told my dad, I don't know if I should do this. This jump is pretty big. And my dad was like, all right, I'll go check it out. And uh, when I come back, I'll tell you to do it or not. I what? was getting ready. I put on my pants. I put on my boots. I was butt booty naked the entire time. I got on my bike. I was ready to go. Don't do it, Plaza. Turn around. Don't do it. I was at the starting gate and my dad checked it out and he came back and he said, I don't think that's a good idea. That's a very big jump. And I was like, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> I already made up my mind. I kicked my bike. <laughs> and I started riding. I was right in front of it on my bike. I was sweating. There were people around me. No one has done this jump yet. Like there are different people, like different classes, right? Nobody has done this. I drove up to it and I was like 40 feet away from it. And I was like, wow, a little bigger than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking in my head, no one has ever done this. There were literally people on the side of the jump because it was a very popular jump because no one does it. <laughs> Sweating for my head, chair drops in my I'm eyes. Gonna be, I'm gonna, gonna have to do this. And I drove up full speed <laughs> to the jump. I didn't think about it. Oh my God. And I just whooped straight up in the air. I felt weightless. I didn't feel anything anymore. I thought I was gonna die. Oh, he did die. Am I going fast die. enough? I'm going too fast. <gasps> I came to the top, the climax. <laughs> and I was about to go down. Was I going too I fast? Was I going too slow? I just lost my speed. I went down and BAM! I landed perfectly! What? But that's not it. There's a 90 degree corner coming up. Literally seven feet away from me while I'm going really fast. I slam in my brakes. I do a little Tokyo Drift. My dad was there as well. He filmed everything. He got this on camera actually. And I took that corner and everything was perfect. Everyone was looking, everyone started clapping. And I was like, yeah. I'm that, that guy. That's my I'm that guy. I was the first one to do that jump that day. And everyone was like, oh my God, he's so cool. And that's how I lost my virginity. A sport that will get even more ladies, a sport that all women love is basketball. I wanted to go play with my high school friends, you know, because I, I was a little, little baby. Yeah. So we went to the basketball court in the ghetto because uh, why not? Basketball prank in the ghetto gone wrong. Cops called. I'm so talented. I am probably the top 10 basketball players you've never heard of. OK, and there's probably a reason why you never heard of me. If I was put in the league, the league would be me. I would be the foot. <laughs> face of everything i would be michael jordan i would be lebron you play basketball and you're four feet tall how are you gonna talk about this sport this is the time in my life where i'm going to do the impossible okay i'm going to dunk the ball okay i'm gonna do it you can't even freaking hop three 
30 centimeters! Oh my God, I would like to see you walk a mile. If I walk a mile, the world will collapse. Okay, I'm doing you a favor. All right, Mr. Fat Guy, you need to calm down. You need to, you need to take a chill pill. You need to also lose some weight. I'm just saying. Anyway, I decided in my brain today was the day I'm going to dunk. Okay, me jump all the way to like, what, 10 feet? Okay, and I'm going to go... I'm going to go... Slam the ball in and go boom. Okay, boom. I mentally Many prepared myself. Okay, I, I, I did... I did half and puff. I'm mentally preparing my brain and then it hit me. Urethra. I have it in in my soul and my spirit. Okay, I I ran. I go boom, boom, boom. And I, this is heavy, heavy steps, like fat god himself, right? I, I head step. <laughs> boom, boom. I'm running at full speed and I jump. I'm in the air like this cat. Oh, okay. oh my god. That's you. That's, that's, that's you. Insane. It's literally me right oh there. Okay. My god. Incredible. And I realized I don't have the height for this. Oh, <laughs> oh. So, so I ditch the ball midair. I throw the ball. I'm like, oh my god, I'm going is the type of dude to, to jam to, his finger I, while I playing basketball out, right? and I, then use like a wrench to unclog jump, it. And I, I let go of the ball and then I am trying to catch something because I feel like if I fall, I'm gonna I'm gonna break both my legs and end up like fat god himself. I hang on the net, right? And I'm like, oh crap, if I let go, I'm going to die. I look down. Oh my god, that's really far, right? I don't know what to do in the situation. I'm panicking. I'm just like, oh my god i'm i'm really tall right now if i fall i'm gonna break my ankles and die and maybe like blow up the building or something i don't know <gasps> It happens. I don't it remember happens. that from the basketball episode. And my fingers are like burning because it's like rope bird. So it's like the rope is like cutting my hand. So like all of the net basically just turned into knives and I, I'm grabbing all of that. My friend, he goes under me and he, he holds my legs and he pulls me up. So I let go and I'm like, I'm, I'm like, okay, my friend got me, right? So as I let go, he let goes. I immediately grab onto the rope, but I slip and now. my entire finger was like gas open i had five fingers at the start of the game and now i'm left with three basically i i, I died i still have more athletic ability than fat god but it's what fine. is with you and fingers like uh, you your poor fingers they've been through trauma tbh where did the ball go did it go in or oh, i i don't remember where the ball i literally as i was like realizing that i'm going to die i just threw the ball just hoping when, when did I this happen catch something what, what age did this happen like two three years Oh my god. <laughs> this was a recent this event. This is a recent event. Yes, yes. On a positive note, we can animate the ball going in. Yes. yes! Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, Congratulations. Like pushes and then an explosion at the end. That'd be sick. Oh my okay, god. A really poor Photoshop Wait, where did that explosion <laughs> come from? If you guys enjoy that, let me know what your favorite sport is down below. And uh, make sure to go subscribe to all my friends' channels. All their links are down below.